Good morning. Today we are going to deal with a drug which is basically Sanicola Aqua. Uh, last day we were dealing with the Zygens and Bolinum. I suppose you might have went through the books and uh, we collected the different notes and other things. Today we are going to uh, just have a look on Sanicola Aqua. Before going into detail regarding the Sanicola, you must have to understand what is it basically. It's basically, it is basically prepared with the medicine which is prepared from a mineral spring. Uh, basically located in South America, sorry, in America, state of America, Ottawa in, in the state of Illinois in America. It is basically, uh, geographically speaking, is a spring defined as the flow of water. Because of water will be coming from underneath to up. From that spring, lots of minerals, especially that is actually coming from the volcanic ends. Uh, previously, it was basically uh, due to the volcanic erosions and uh, sorry, volcanic eruptive areas. From there, the spring arises. So when the spring comes out, lot it contains major major number of the mineral salts are along with that. It is the whole water is contained with the mineral salts. Uh, so we are having many drugs which are uh, basically prepared from uh, different mineral salts. So this one basically is having a mixture of some symptoms of many of the minerals that is available uh, in our materia medicas. Now I will be tell you the common name is basically spring water, sanicola aqua and the part used is from the evaporated salt is used. How the sanicola came into the uh, medicine is that in 1890 basically it was not unintentionally proved a drug like that of Blata orientalis. This one is also unintentionally proved once in a family was constantly drinking the water of this mineral spring and they were developing lots of symptoms. From that only, uh, which gave a hint and simultaneously was proved and later on added to the material medica. The part used is basically the evaporated salt is used. When you are going for sanicula, the most important thing, the, what are the key symptoms? This is basically not a polycrust or something, right? this is just a small remedy, but there are lots of actions of the sanicula is there. The key symptoms of sanicula, if you go three, uh, if you see, Four symptoms are the ones which is basically key to uh, sanicula. One is bedwetting, the second one is constipation and diarrhea, motion sickness and sweat. These four are the most important characteristics regarding sanicula. If we go with the child and, child and bedwetting of sanicula, it will be the dandruff. The hair will be clustered with dandruff. The other drugs which will be coming for us is therefore dandruff is natromure is there, borax is there. In case of borax, it will be having the uh, ends of the hair basically sticks and the uh, plica polonica like that. This sanicula is having many number of symptoms which is resembling that of the borax. The other symptom which is there in borax as well as in uh, sanicula is that dread of downward motion. It is there in borax. Borax, the child clings to the nurse then in case of borax. But in case of sanicula, it is, it is also having the same dread of downward motion is a prominent symptom in case of sanicula. A child which is having a neurosis and bedwetting in the night with the scaly dandruff and a dread of downward motion, we can uh, individualize the child to sanicula. The next part is basically regarding the constipation and diarrhea. If we go through the constipation of diarrhea of sanicula, the most important thing uh, or the main symptoms you must understand, the stools are heavy and painful. Like that of calcarea carb, no desire until there is a larger accumulation. That is one of the key symptoms regarding sanicula aqua. No desire until there is a large accumulation. And the stools, when, when they pass stool, will be having severe pain. <coughs> pain is a prominent feature of sanicula while passing. And the another thing of the sanicula is that as of constipation, it can be also given for diarrhea also. In case of diarrhea, the nature of diarrhea or the peculiarities that ch changeability is the main thing regarding sanicula. What changeability? If you consider pulsatla, it is a drug which is no two symptoms are alike, no two discharges are alike, like that. In case of sanicula, the diarrhea is totally changing. The change is basically from color and character. 
the color will be changing, the nature of stool also will be changing. Sometimes with flakes, sometimes with watery, like that constantly changing the stools are there in case of sanicular. The next most, most important symptom is basically regarding the sweat. The nature of sweat is very important in case of sanicula. The nature of sweat, sweat profuse in the occiput and the nape of neck. That is one of the most important key future symptom of sanicula. If you consider lycopodium, if you consider calcarea carp, these all silesia, these all drugs are having sweat symptoms are prominent. How we will differentiate sanicula from silesia, etc. is that in case of silesia, you know that the nature of sweat, which will be there with so much from palm, sweets, etc. And in case of calcarea carp, it will be so much of this thing around the nose, around the face and around the body, all these things, calcarea carb sweat will be high. And in case of lycopodium, again on the above the nose, uh, around the face, about on the head, etc. sweat will be high. In case of uh, sanicula, profuse sweat in the occiput and the nape of neck and uh, it is especially during sleep is the most important characteristic feature of sanicula. Next to most important characters which is basically regarding the motion sickness where there will be nausea and vomiting from car riding as of cochlus. Cochlus is basically given for the complaints when for when we are mountain gliders and when traveling etc. We used to give cochlus. Then the other remedy is basically coca. These all drugs were given for uh, complaints which are while traveling etc. And uh, in case of this one, the most of the nausea and vomiting from car riding or riding in a carriage. And uh, there is another peculiarity of vomiting is also there. Vomits as soon as uh, water reaches the stomach. It is having thirst for little because thirst is very high in case of sanicula and they drinks the water. Once it reaches the stomach, it vomits back. The other drug is basically phosphorus where there is again water drinks in, icy, this is icy cold water, drinks, lies in the stomach, vomits out. Again in arsenic elbow is also is having the things. This has warm water, it drinks it, heaviness feeling in the stomach, omits out. In case of uh, sanicula, also there is the same symptoms. The situation is that once the water reaches into the uh, stomach, it vomits out. Next, uh, uh, another important, uh, so, so you must be having, these are the four main characteristic symptoms regarding sanicula. The other symptoms are basically Uh, one is the uh, thermal state, thermal state and thermal complaints regarding sanicula. The most important thing, the very, you must have to have what is sanicula. It is basically from the, uh, in case of sanicula, they are extremely chilly. Extremely chilly. But the characteristic feature of Sanicola is that it kicks off clothing even in the coldest weather and desires open air. No desire to cover even in winter. Even though they are chilly, they kicks off the clothing in the coldest weather and desires open air. No desire to cover even in the winter season. So that is the one of the most important characteristic you must understand. Chilly, but the kicks of the cannot tolerate any clothing in the winter season. When they are lying, they cannot tolerate that because they are having extreme desires to, even though they are chilly, they are having extreme desire to open air. For open air, we know the drugs like Pulsatla, etc. Then the craving of Sanicula is very important. There is craving for bacon, salt, X, ice cold milk. That is one of the next characteristic symptom of sanicula. Then another individualistic symptom which is determining sanicula from all the other drugs are basically the tongue symptom of sanicula. The important, the most, the importance of tongue symptom is that they are having, tongue is having severe burning. With the burning, they must protrude it to make it cool. 
That is very important. They must protrude. That means tongue is having so much of burning and with that they will be protruding their tongue to make it cool. And ringworm of tongue is also another characteristic of sanicula. Then previously I was telling regarding the sweat, what all areas it is basically. Burning of soles of feet. Must cover them or put them in a cool place. That is the that is there in burning of soles of feet is basically a prominent symptom regarding sulfur and lachesis. And the characteristics regarding sulfur is that, sorry, with the uh, sanicula is that burning of soles of feet with the must cover them or put them in a cool place. That is the characteristic determinating for a future from sulfur and lachesis. And the other, uh, this is that offensiveness. Sanicula means offensive. Sanicula offensive set. If you just he removes the shoes in the, in, the, in the room or wherever he removes the shoe, the nearby person closes their nostrils. Why? Because so much of offensiveness, uh, Indian sweat and offensiveness. You must have to note that thing. That is uh, one of the key future which is determining sanicula from other sweats. And uh, the basically, the other similar drugs which are having the similar sort of sweat with offensiveness are basically one is Silesia and the one is Sorina. So, what is the nature? Cold, clammy sweat of the extremities. Cold, clammy sweat of the extremities. You know, cold, clammy sweat means the, the main drug that comes to our mind is veretramal. That is with the dehydration. With the dehydration, cold, clammy sweat on the head, which is the, one of the keynote feature of the veretramal album. In case of Sanicula, it is regarding cold, clammy sweat of the extremities. So what happens is that when they remove their socks or something, there will be a sticky nature of this, uh, that uh, sweat will be there, offensiveness will be there. It gives a sort of view. That is the most important thing you must understand. Okay, then regarding this skin syndrome, the nature of skin is also very important. Dirty, greasy, brownish, wrinkled skin. The nature of the skin is dirty, greasy, brownish, wrinkled skin. Eczema and fissured hands and fingers. Fissures in the hands and fingers. Eczema with the fissures in the hands and fingers. It can be indicated for the complaints of tinea pitis, etc., where you will be having fissures and small, small eruptions in the in between the, especially tinea pitis, in between the finger ends. So here the nature of skin is important, dirty, greasy brownish wrinkled skin and eczema with the fissured hands and fingers. The other drugs are based on one is petroleum and another one is graphitis. Based on the nature of discharges, graphite very varies. Once the discharge comes out, excoriating, attaches there and uh, dries off. That is basically with the, uh, this one, graphitis. And the Next prominent symptom regarding uh, this one, uh, Sanicula, is that it is having the symptom just like that of sepia. What is the sepia female symptom? We know that. Everyone knows that symptom. What is the symptom? Bearing down sensation. Sensation as if the uterus will go out, wants to cross the leg to prevent that. Here there is no cross the leg is there, but gives a support. But gives a support. Here, again in Sanicula, the important thing is that bearing down sensation and with the sensation as if the pelvic convents would comes out and it is better by rest. That is the difference of symptom in case of sanicula. Bearing down sensation and uh, everything would escape but better by keeping it rest. Then want to have support, desire to have the support. In case of sepia, it crosses the leg and to sense. That is the important thing. Then, Soreness of uterus is another prominent symptom regarding sanicula. And the nature of leucorrhea is very important in case of sanicula because the nature of order is important. That is fish brain, brain sensation or old cheese order. That is one of the characteristic features of leucorrhea in case of sanicula. That is fish brain or 
old cheese order. So much of offensive. The other offensive, you know, Epparcel is the one again for fish bane or cheese, old cheese order. Especially very offensive Leucoria, which seems uh, that of fish bane or old cheese, Sanicola is the indicated drug. Then, we were telling generally regarding Sanicola. Now, I will tell you about the child. Because in for exams and other things, even Sanicola is also asked as an essay question. So, you must be having the symptoms which you had already mentioned will be returning here some of the symptoms. But we must understand what is Sanicola child. Sanicola child means it is basically a chamomilla type of mental nature, the child with the abrutanum body nature. Why I am telling because this it is basically a rickety marasmatic child with the, all deficiencies, but the mental nature is very prominent. That is headstrong, obstinate, and the child will be having of profuse offensive set of the head and feet. So you must be understanding a sore child when we are taking that child on the so headstrong cannot uh, approach cannot bear anyone approaching cannot hold anything so much of an again type of child with all the nutritional defects of uh, this a uh, marasmatic rickety child with the pot may lead with the profuse offensive set on the head and feet then already i had told you nature of tongue Tongue is large, flabby, must protrude it to keep it cool. The child will be constantly uh, uh, like that, it is keeping it. It is not for the ma 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 matter of cooling it or anything. It is basically, it is uh, actually the child will not be noticing that, but it is simultaneously doing it in a thing. The symptom is like that. Tongue is large, flabby, and must protrude it to keep it cool. It constantly puts the tongue out. And the next important mental nature of Sanicular child is least even the smallest word also offends it even the smallest thing also it makes it angry if the child uh, is so much cross and uh, irritable but the important thing is that if you consider sina chamomile etc irritability going for convulsions here irritability in one sort of sphere and followed by playfulness that is in the next sphere one sphere, the child will be totally irritable. Next sphere, the child will be totally cool and happy. So it will be having playing out. And the, the another important character is that the child will be constantly in motion. It moves from one place to another. Changes its position, alteration of moods. That that changeability comes in the neck. It laughs out. These are all the most important characteristic sanicular nature of child. Then, I, previously I told you, it is having high dread of darkness, dread of downward motion, and always having a tendency to look back. Always having a tendency. When we are thinking of sanicular child, the child constantly having a tendency to look back. The nature of tired child, I already told you, it will be thin, old looking marasmatic child and the skins etc will be in hanging out hanging out all the discharges i already told you it is just like fish brains or old cheese and offensive all the discharges and another nature is that it is having screams while urinating that is another keynote feature of Sanicula. child screams before urinating strains to urinate while on stools Bursting in the bladder with an urgent call to pass urine. Urine stains red. And the characteristic feature, you must understand, cries and stra strains to urinate while at stool and cries before urinating. That is very important regarding Sanicula child. Then, generally they are worse in Stray, uh, generally sanicula is worse in strain, motion, raising up, cold to win on occipital neck, downward motion. These are the aggravating factors and better in open air, warmth and vomiting. Then there are some peculiar sensations which is having in sanicula is that one is icy cold sensation in the throat, can swallow solids better than fluids. That is very important in case of lack of the opposite, icy cold sensation in the throat, can swallow solids better than fluids. Then, the another thing is that fluent coriza, watery, 
no source to be having fluent coriza i already told you often few discharges are there what is the nature of the fluent coriza smells like old musty rain water that is the peculiarity of sanicula so sanicula i already told you what is the nature it is basically prepared from the mineral spring it is having all the minerals contents in it so it is having a mixture of symptoms of many of the drugs and i already told you the comparison and all things now you have to read further and i thank you all for your patient listening and please do refer the books and prepare notes for it thank you